Welcome to Grade 5 Science Class. Today, we're going to discuss about the phases of the moon. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Teacher Mai. Today's lesson is about the phases of the moon. Take a look at the picture. This is what we call satellite. A satellite is an object that revolves around the larger object. And the moon is the only natural satellite that the Earth has. It takes 29 and a half days for a moon to complete the cycle. And this is what we call the month. Again, moon's appearance changes as the moon revolves around the Earth. And because of the different amounts of light, it reflects from the sun. Okay, take a look at the picture. How many phases does the moon have? And what are those? Yes, Sherwin. There are eight phases of moon. Four in waxing phases, the new moon, waxing crescent, the first quarter, and the waxing gibbous. And also four in the waning phases, which is the full moon, waning gibbous, third quarter, and the one waning crescent. Very good, Sherwin. When the moon is between the sun and earth, the moon seems to be hiding from the earth. The moon is not visible from earth since the side of the moon that faces the earth is not illuminated. This is what we call the new moon. The new moon is the start of the phases of the moon. So after a new moon, this is what we call the waxing phases of the moon. When the moon starts to appear in a semicircular form, it is called the waxing crescent. And during the first quarter, half of the moon is lighted and visible. And also for the waxing gibbous, when most of the portion of the moon is visible in the sky. Again, when the whole lighted side of the moon is visible, it is what we call the full moon. So this is the waning phases of the moon. So after the full moon, when the moon appears to be getting smaller, it is what we call the waning gibbous. And when we see half of the moon after the full moon, it is the third quarter or the last quarter. And after the third quarter, the moon appears in a semi-circular form. It is called the waning crescent. So we have here waxing, waning, and crescent. What do you mean by waxing, waning, and crescent in the phases of moon? Yes, Lara Jane. Mom, waxing means that the moon's illumination is growing each night. Waning means that moon's illumination is shrinking and getting smaller. Crescent refers to the curve shape or the semicircular form of a moon. Very good, Lara Jane. So here is the phases of the moon. We first have the new moon, and then the waxing crescent, the first quarter, and the waxing gibbous. Those are the waxing phases of the moon. And the full moon. So after the full moon, the waning gibbous, the third quarter, or the last quarter, and the waning crescent. Okay, for our science trivia, Apollo 11 was the space flight that first landed humans on the moon. Commander Neil Armstrong and the lunar module pilot Edwin Buzz Aldrin. On July 20, 1969, at 8.17, Armstrong became the first person to step onto the lunar surface for 6 hours and 39 minutes. 
And on July 21 at 2.56 in the morning, Aldrin joined him. They spent about two and a quarter hours together outside the spacecraft and collected 21.5 kilograms of lunar materials to bring back to Earth. And the commander and the pilot was Michael Collins flew the command module Columbia alone in the lunar.